Hi, I'm Ken Mill. You're at the Myriad View Artisan Distillery in Rollo Bay, PEI. When we suggested to the people that we'd like to make moonshine, they said it's impossible, it's illegal. We've had a, a lot of feedback from other parts of the world. The big one is, you can't do that. Like, you got a great big sign out front. I've had uh, one person come up to me. Uh, we have a vehicle that's marked up telling what our product is and saying right in the back, yep, it's PEI Moonshine. And uh, I've had, as I parked in a parking lot, someone come up to me and said, you're just begging to be arrested. And then, of course, explain them the fact that, no, it is legal in this province to produce it at a, a licensed distillery. The reasons we decided to go with Shine is it's PEI's traditional drink. The key thing to a moonshine is unaged and made from the local products. The fact is it was illegal during Prohibition, so you didn't want to get caught with it. You obviously weren't going to put it in barrels and have it out in the barn because loose lips sink ships. So the product was made, the product was being able to be hid in a closet or underneath a bed, wherever it was, and consumed. Danny says this is the, the home of the moonshine confessionals. Uh, anyone who's made shine here uh, basically takes a 30 second look at our still and then starts to talk about the stories of batches that have gone great, batches that have gone wrong, uh, things that have been smashed or blown up in the making of homemade shine. Uh, the house here on the property actually has a beam in the floor that is split back in the 40s while sitting at supper the still exploded downstairs. It, it's the traditional drink for weddings and family reunions and receptions. Um, you're, if you're having a party and some real good friends come over, everyone would always take out the little pint of, of shine and uh, you know, sort of show it off. The area is just rich with moonshining and, and bootlegging history. Uh, on this property, for instance, down in behind this Bear River, a small stream, and you can see where they've actually dug out the stream to divert it because that's where they had their cooling water. So the still was set up along the side of the stream. They used to bury it in manure piles. They put it in warehouses that were hot, anywhere hot. And that would be it. A lot of times they would drink it well before it hit the still. <laughs> Just, that's the way she works. People used to say, oh, I think, the, I think the mash is ready, I think the mash is ready, right? And all of a sudden all the guys that get together and they go down to check the mash. Well, you know, they never come up for supper. You go down there and everyone's, you know, got their portion of it already gone and it never did see, see the still. So, and now that we're producing it, he doesn't have to go through the grief, the trouble, or worry about getting caught. So he's no longer going to make the moonshine for the family reunions. He comes up and buys our product for it. We thought it was an important part of the island tradition. You won't go anywhere else and find this product on the shelf. It's the one that we've done the longest. It's the one that we continue to serve. It's the one that's nowhere else. The world is full of mediocre products as far as alcohols or foods or anything else goes. We wanted to do small batches of handmade, high quality products and bring it to the consumers. So as you see here, we have our straight shine as a single distilled, once through the still is what that means. It'll be a molasses spirit, so it's gonna be molasses and cane sugars brought in from the Caribbean. It's called straight shine. Keep in mind that the word moonshine is illegal in print. Very few people actually pick up on it. In fact, we get quite a few that come in and say, so why is there a moon there? Because they're used to the local trade name of moonshine, which is shine. Once again, that's how we were able to use it. So here we have our straight lightning, which is our double distilled unaged product. Once it's 75% alcohol by volume. This would be our straight vodka. Very crisp and clean product due to the fact of the true dip triple distillation. Our straight gin would take that triple distilled vodka and we'll pass it through a botanicals vessel which control which has all of our coriander, juniper berry, all our herbs and spices and we let that alcohol vapor pass through there, pick up all our flavors and come back out to be what's known as a London dry gin. We do free tastings and tours uh, on site and uh, we also do an experiential tour where you can uh, come on site, you pay your fee and within two hours we'll take you through the whole process of uh, putting sugars in the fermentation tanks, we, uh, we set it for fermenting, you help us actually run off a batch of shine and you bottle and label and take home your own bottle of shine that you've actually bottled and labeled. Well, he said, did you get an email from a guy from the States? I said, yeah. In their words, you know, I quote, this stuff is good enough to be sold out of the trunk of a car in a mason jar. He said, what do you think of that for a comment? I said, well, pretty happy with it.